Good morning everybody, how are we all doing? Let's get into today's video! Hi guys, so before I get into it, if you're new to this channel, hi my name is Kathy and I like to do videos in regards to chronic illnesses, fibro, mental health and life in general and my furry babies. So today's video is a little bit different and <clears throat> some people may be able to, what's that word, sympathise with me, is that the word? <laughs> I don't know probably get, understand what I'm what we're going through and I know people are gonna say it's just a bloody cat it's just, just a dog what why are you all so miserable over it anyhow so I'm talking about losing an, one of my furry babies or whatever you like to call them pets babies whatever you want to call them because in, at the end of the day they're still a living soul aren't they and they impact your life now I've lost quite a few animals in my lifetime because I grew up with people cats um but with i'm talking about here and now before a certain someone jumps on and says mm, this, i don't like your videos i don't agree with them i don't know they're there so hi welcome jog on and i'm not that's not me being nasty i'm just sick of booming getting hearing things and it kind of annoys me a little bit uh, but anyway, I'm not here to please everybody, so if you don't like what I do, then jog on. Feel free to go and watch someone else. Anyway, so <clears throat> this year, well, last year I lost, well, the year before that actually, what year are we into? I think 2021, I think, maybe 22, I can't remember. I lost one of my cats, and um, just show you him, because he's up on the wall. Not him, in the picture. Skip. That's Biscuit. I lost him. Um, I lost him. He just kind of... It wasn't even Paulus. I don't know what the hell happened. He just never returned home the following day. And I, it broke my heart. Then last year, November, I had a big, another big ginger cat. Now, some of, them, some of you may have seen it on my YouTube shorts. I, I did, I've done a lot of on him. He's called Alfie. When, when Biscuit went missing... Alfie kind of just went downhill a little bit, started losing weight. He was fretting, I think that's what it is. Because they, they grew up together. Um, yeah, they grew up together, those two. And then when Alfie started deteriorating, it was so sad from seeing that big chubby cat like Garfield. Because everyone that get, uh, on that, well, most of the people on my street loved him and miss him. And they used to think he was Garfield. I went, no, because he was that fat. Like Garfield, and they'd eat all they'd eat lasagna. <laughs> anyway, anyone that came to me asked, goes, "What you got Garfield there for?" I said, "That's not Garfield, it's healthy." Anyway, so to see him from a big chubby cat to um, a not so chubby, like skin and bones, that was upsetting. Um, but just gave me some stuff in case it all he needed worming. Um, what was the other one? Fleed him. Just trying to get as much food down him, but when he was eating, he was just bringing it back up again. So anyway, it kind of still hurts a little bit. So losing an animal is like losing, it could feel like you've lost like a child, a, a human being. You grieve the same. You just, I think, they've still, they've got a soul, they're like a human. Well, my cats and dogs act like they're human beings, to be honest. <sighs> that broke my heart when he went, I'm not kidding you. Um... I've never cried so much in my life. I used to go to my appointments. I went to and they all, you all right? I went, oh, must be cat. The cat passed away. Uh, and it, it did impact people on the street as well because they, they were so used to seeing him. He used to, he used to go up for cuddles. It was just that type of cat that really got stuck into my heart. Now, I've had a load of cats over the years. 
and yeah I, I'm sad that I've lost them but Alfie just really it just tugged on my heart it was it was just like my best friend as did well Biscuit because Biscuit used to come over I used to didn't want to let him outside he used to, he used to cuddle me on the night he's got to sleep and then he'd fall asleep beside me then Alfie he used to like to come and sit on my bed uh, and you know sometimes now even though he's passed away I still that feeling you get on your bed like some walking and sat down I know it's him anyway so what's your thoughts do you struggle when you've lost have you ever lost a pet how did you struggle have you still struggled to get over it after months of him in my her passing because Alfie went missing he passed away well, went missing and he passed away back in November last year and I I know it's nearly a year now oh my god is that how long it is I'm gonna try and stop because I can feel my eyes whirling up. Um, when he passed away, but Bella, my tortie child, taught, were pregnant at the time, um, and she gave birth on second of December with a pure, I'm not gonna hear, pure ginger cat. And now I was gonna keep him, but I didn't want to keep any of them at that stage. And I've ended up keeping a black one because cat. No one really likes black cats for some strange reason. They're not bad luck, to be honest. I love them. Anyway, uh, it was just weird how she she gave birth to pure ginger. Like, that's Alfie. Even though Alfie was neutered, but it was a sign like, here you go, another ginger cat. And I, I have said to myself, now I will not be taking in any other animals, even if they get left on my doorstep, which I've had in the past. Um, but, you know, I can't. <laughs> I mean, they've all been, apart from Sutty, actually, I need to get him to the vets. Um, they're all chipped, microchipped, whatever you want to call it, neutered, and yeah, they just I just Bella and Theo, baby Theo is who's Bella's kid is, uh, they're indoor. Uh, I don't think they'll survive outside to be honest, they don't even like leaving Hannah's bedroom, they're that comfy in there. But losing half it has ripped a hole in my heart, I'm kidding, yeah, I, I, I'm struggling to get over him. Struggling to get over biscuit, but the time that wasn't. Uh, I keep looking at his pictures like he's staring at me. I need to get a picture of Alfie to go up on the wall as well. Um, well, I just need to find a good picture of him. So let me know in the comments down below, guys. Have you ever lost a animal? How have you reacted? Have you, I mean, I've been cried so hard in all my life. I felt like I'd lost my spare arm or something because Alfie was. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's, I can feel them coming. It was one in a kind, and I know everybody says that about the kids or the furry babies, but it was, it was one in a kind. He didn't meow, he just went, eh, eh. Or he'd come and sit on the kitchen unit and then go like that with his paws, come and tap me, excuse the grey hairs, I've got to deal with him later. He'd tap me arm and then pull me forward to kiss me on forehead. Oh, I was such a... Anyway, so let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments and let me know if... Are you still struggling like months after the passing? People will say, I know it's not just, some people will say it's just a cat, it's just a dog, get over it. But that cat, 15 year old, you know, he had majority of my life. Anyway guys, I'm looking at you because I'm feeling the teary bit coming. Not myself today. And yeah, I've got a lot to do with very little energy. So we'll catch up with you in the next video. Okay, enjoy the remainder of your day. I hope it's okay wherever you are, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.